Okay guys, I wanted to show you what I'm gonna do today. So I went into Grady's closet and found this t-shirt and I asked him if he wore it very much and he was like, oh yeah, I love that t-shirt. Well, it was in the back of his closet and it had like dust, like a line of dust up here. So I was like, you don't wear this. I was like, I'm taking it. So I think probably one of the reasons he doesn't wear it is it's very choky, like it goes like this. Ugh. So I want to get my fabric paints back out. I feel like I'm standing really weird and paint on a shirt. So what I'm gonna do, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna cut this first. I know that I want this cut, cause it's so choky, and I wanna do it cropped, not like cur super cropped, but just a little cropped, and then I'm gonna paint on it. I think I'm gonna paint like horses and kitties and things like that. I don't know, but I think that's what I'm gonna do on the shirt. We shall see, but let me show it to you. It's just like a gray, business call so I've got to talk quietly but it's just a gray t-shirt I've got it pinned up a little bit where I think I'm gonna crop it and then I'll cut a little further down from that because it'll roll some but I think I'm not gonna cut it yet I'm gonna paint it so that way when I cut it some of like the horses will be going off of the shirt so I'm gonna get my paints out actually I think I'm gonna cut this first then I'm gonna paint neck I think I've got it how I like it it's not perfect but it's probably as perfect as I'm gonna get it sorry I'm looking at the monitor like it's a mirror so now I'm gonna paint the fun part Guys, I'm dying. This shirt is gonna be so stinking cute. I'm like in the early process still, and I could totally end up ruining it, which is fine, but it's turning out so cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna just stick with horses. I was gonna do horses and cats. Don't ask me why, I just was. And I could still throw in a cat, but I'm really liking how the horses are coming. Let me show you what it's looking like so far. So I've got these three horses and they're all still drying and then I've got that horse and then I have one on the back it's kind of green yeah I'm gonna just keep on keeping on with the horses I'm being loose I'm painting each one just individually so they're gonna all be like a little different which will be perfect it's gonna end up being my new favorite shirt so here's what I've been doing I've got this like plasticky you could just use a piece of cardboard would be totally fine but this is like a plastic canvas board it's got the plastic on it and so i'm just wiping it off because the paint will seep through the shirt so i'm using this to catch that seepage so it doesn't go through the back and also to give me like a firm place to paint and then i'm taking my clips and just clipping it so things don't move around and so it's a little bit of a tighter fabric you know to, to work with i'm not like making it perfect i'm just getting it done and then down here this is an old painting I did with wall bars and I'm using that horse as my creation or as my reference Greg's gonna wish he had this shirt back but it's gonna be cropped so I don't think he'll be wearing it so cute. 
Okay guys, this is day two. So yesterday I literally painted all day long except for a lunch break and then making dinner. I stopped at dinner time. <laughs> Y'all, it is so cute. So I'm still working on it. I probably have another full day to work on it or of work for it. I had so much fun yesterday. Yesterday was the best day that I've had in this quarantine time. I mean, I got to work on this thing and then was also video in it for you guys. And I just got lost in it. Those of you that are creatives, like do creative stuff, know what I mean. When you get like sucked in the black hole of just creativity and nothing else matters. Like you don't think of anything else. That was yesterday. Poor Grady. Like I don't even think I lifted my head up till like one o'clock and it was, we usually eat lunch at like 1130 and I heard him in there stirring in the kitchen and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about lunch. And then I got up and I was like, oh, my body's hurting. I'm tired. I'm hungry. But it was so much fun. Okay. Let me show you the progress that I've made and what I'm going to do. Okay. So here's what I have so far. So I've got this horse over here coming in. And then you can see I've got these pins right here. This is probably like where I'm gonna crop it. And then I haven't really done anything to the back yet. I'm gonna put some more on the back. I think I'm gonna put some little horse legs right here. I think that would be cute. And then on the back, I may do a real big one like coming in, but I do know I'm gonna write a little phrase back here. Something that my mom always says. She, like when the grandkids are coming over or stuff, maybe even when we were young, I don't remember, but she'd always say like, howdy doody, howdy doody. So I'm gonna write that back there in honor of her. I think it'd be appropriate with these horses and I'm loving it. I think it's turning out so, so, so cute. I got a little tighter than what I wanted. I wish I had just stayed really like loose, but it was turning out good and I started getting tight. I definitely think I'm gonna do this again. I wanna do some kitties and then I may even do one with one of my faces that I'm doing right now. So yeah, I'm gonna set up my paints. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous spring day here and I'm hoping to just get lost again into painting. Also wanted to tell you guys, I'm only using three colors. Literally like when you, with anything with painting, you only need three colors. I mean, I even make my black, well I have four colors if you count white, but I can make a black really pretty black with using the three primaries. Every single one of these horses has all three colors in it, even my whites on here are all three colors mixed with a little bit of white. It just makes everything so much more cohesive and pretty, so. I can't wait to go paint again. This is turning out so cute. Oh, I hope y'all like it. Let me know below if you like it and if this has inspired you. All right, guys, let's go work on this cute shirt. I can't wait to show it to you guys. So after I paint it all, I'll have to let it dry for probably a couple days. And then I need to read the instructions. I think I'm supposed to vacuum it, not vacuum it iron it and then I'll probably give it a couple washes. This paint guys, it is so good. Like it gets softer, it doesn't crack. The other shirt, I'm gonna put the link to the other video that I did of the other shirt that I painted. I love the shirt that I painted last time and I love the way the paint like softens up and it's real flexible. I'm gonna go paint now. So I added some legs here. I'm not real sure that I like them, but they're there. That may have been a bad decision. I think they're dry enough. I'm gonna flip it over and work on the back. Guys, ugh. okay, I'm feeling very over this painting t-shirt thing. I kind of get like this. That is why only my oil painting stuff has really survived. I get into something, I get bored very quick. I should not have done this t-shirt two days in a row, but I also like to complete a project, so I was feeling like, let's get it done. I think I'm tired and hungry, and that's probably good for Grady because it's almost lunchtime. So let me show you what I did. So I decided to not do much on the back because I was thinking about the fact that like my hair is really long and so it's going to cover up the back so i don't really want to spend a lot of time on the back i want to do my little phrase howdy doody and i thought about looking it up to see how to spell it and then i thought no let me just spell it the way i think that is because that'll be funnier and then it's my shirt and that'll be part of my mom with her little phrase and part of me with my misspelling if it's misspelled but who knows i'm ready to let it dry for a day or two and then i'll iron it I'll probably just let it dry for 24 hours because i think that's what the directions say and that's what i'll i have the patience for because i'm ready to like cr snip the bottom crop it and try it out for you guys so i'll show you where i am and what i've done and yeah, I'm really done. Okay, so I hate that I got kind of 
pittered out on this so early because I had like a whole line. Is that what it's called? Like in the fashion industry, like a, yeah. So I was gonna do like a cat one of these. I was gonna do, oh, I still think I'm gonna do this because I think it would be funny. I'm thinking about doing my deodorant ones. Let me know below if you think I should do that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the last video. I think it was the last video. I'll put it up here where I show my deodorant sketches and spell it wrong. Um, I drew one day when I was like documenting the day, I drew a deodorant bottle. I'll show it to you here. I thought it was really fun. It kind of turned out funny. And then I did like a whole pa another page spread of all these different versions of this. And then when I showed Grady after I drew 1500 of these deodorant bottles, realized Grady pointed out that I was spelling deodorant wrong. He said, you don't even say it like that. But I'm also thinking maybe I should just spell it wrong on the shirt because that would be funny. So that's what I'm thinking. Like I think it'd be fun to do kind of like a comic strip. Maybe do like four of them. I don't know, maybe just one big one. I think that would be funny. So I need to take a little break with painting on fabric right now because I'm over it. That's why my oil painting is the only thing that's ever like lasted because I get bored with things really fast. I'll like gotten into jewelry before I do this, do this, and I get bored really fast. And painting's the only thing that has like stuck. I know you're saying this is painting, but like oil painting. Anyways. Okay, let me show it to you. There's the horsey. And you can see like the outline and stuff of the chalk and that's fine. And then I did my little howdy doody. Just really simple outline. So all this is like the chalk. And then my howdy doody. We'll see if I spelled that right. I think it'd be funnier if I didn't. So who knows? That's how I would think that I would, it should be spelled. So that's why I'm spelling it because it's my shirt. And I'm the artist and I have artist license. That's why I can do a deodorant bottle and spell it wrong too. All right guys, I'm tired. I'm over painting the shirt. I still have a lot of paint left over. I'm gonna wrap it up with saran wrap, put it in the fridge. And then if I get a burst of inspiration, I'm gonna go dig through more of Grady's shirt. He doesn't have a ton in there because he wears like the same two or three over and over all the time. So maybe I can commandeer some more or I should go through my own closet and paint some of my own. We'll see, I'll bring you along. Okay guys, welcome to our mud room, which is our laundry room and basically animal feeding place. Okay, I'm working on my shirt. So the directions on this paint say, shake well before using paint cures after 24 hours for maximum wash fastness on fabric. Air dry 24 hours, done. Then heat set. By ironing both sides. Ooh, I forgot about that. Okay, oh, Cooper has decided to get right here in my way. Coop, that's where I need to be. You're laying on my cat bed. That's where the ironing board's gonna go. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's such a good boy. Oh, he's such a good boy. Oh, mom. Say, I just wanna be near ya. I just wanna be near ya. Oh, that sweet face. Who loves their mama? Huh? Who? Does Koopy love his mama? Huh? Does Koopy love his mama? Oh, Koopy. Oh, mom. slightly nervous about this. Yeah, it's gonna be like a low crop or is that high? I don't know. Yeah, so we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to actually cut it lower than what I actually want it, where I want it on my body because when I wash it, it will roll a little at the bottom. Eee! I'm gonna get to it. So I have two shirts that are kind of cropped-ish. And I wanna make sure that I don't cut this t-shirt too short. I'm feeling lazy and don't really want to try it on again. I marked it before, so I've marked it like right here. So that would give me plenty of roll-up room. I know this shirt is not too short, so I think if I cut it there, that's gonna be perfect. And then this one's even longer. So yeah, I think that'll be good. Okay, feeling better. I'm feeling better about cutting this baby now. I'm gonna go do it now. 
you. Okay, I'm gonna take a piece of chalk here and just kind of mark a somewhat, hopefully straight line where I thought this was gonna work. There we go. Some super sharp scissors. These are my sewing scissors. Oh, done. Okay, I'm gonna go try it on. Okay, guys, I'm done with the shirt. I've washed it twice. I did the ironing and did the whole bizazz. It turned out okay. I'm not in love with it. I think mainly because it's actually blue. I don't know why I thought in the early stages of this that I thought that it was gray, but it's definitely navy. I'm just not a blue person, but that's okay. I also didn't stay loose which is kind of a bummer. I really wanted to have like my sketchbook feel about it. I wanted to show you the finished product. The cropping was perfect. It's very comfortable. All of this stuff got real soft and yeah, I'm happy with it. It's a cute little shirt. I think I'll get better as I do this. So let me show you. More than likely, it's going to end up being just more of a casual shirt. I did get some splatters on it. When I was rinsing my brush, I was splashing the water around. I do that with painting, and I don't care if it gets on the thing. So, it got a little splattery in one spot, but who cares? It is what it is. I'm happy with it. It's comfortable. It's definitely a shirt that I'm going to wear, and I'm definitely going to keep doing this. In fact, I've already recorded another, like, pajama shirt that I did. It was my deodorant one. I decided to end up doing it. I couldn't resist. The back side of it turned out better than the front side, so you'll have to wait for that. And then I'm kind of getting the itching to do one more shirt with like one of the faces that I painted. All right, guys, so that's it for this Bits of an Artist Life. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was inspiring. Let me know below what you think of the shirt. If you liked it, if you think you would do something like this, let me know. See you guys. Bye.